going on guys welcome back to the fish room um, earlier today I posted on the fish tank talk group on Facebook and asked for suggestions on um, videos um, for content I can create for you guys so I want to shout out uh, Megan and Morgan I'm not going to use last names for protection of them um, but I would like to give those two gals a shout out um, for coming up with the idea of trying to do some aquascaping. Um, I've been cycling my 20 gallon up there and my 55 over there and I already did the 55 because I had to get that one done and ready because um, I'm moving all the guppies in there tonight and uh, I have access to this 20 gallon so I figured I would try my hand at aquascaping. I am by no means a professional at this um, so we're going to give it a go. I'm just going to go with um, two, maybe three kinds of plants. Um, real basic. Uh, Anacharis, Jungle Val, and either an Anubius or a um, Java Fern. Um, and then we'll go with that and we'll see what we can come up with. Um, but stay tuned and we're going to get over there or somewhere around here and I'll show you where we're going to start. Alright, so the first thing I did is I selected my plants. I already told you what they are. Um, so, for time's sake, what I did is I put the Anacharis in the tank already. It's just floating right now. The Jungle Val is here in a bowl. Um, and the other plant that I'm going to choose from is out in my 125 in the living room. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to use one out of there yet, so I'm not pulling anything out right away. All this Anacharis and Jungle Val that I have in my entire fish room, I started off with three plants of Jungle Val and um, five stems of Anacharis about two months ago. And now I have enough of it to scape about four or five tanks. Um, so it's growing really, really well. So I'm basically trimming it, harvesting the extras, and rescaping my tanks with that as it grows. So those are the plants I'm going to work with today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and see if I can find some hardscape being rocks. Um, I don't want to take any wood that I have outside um, because I don't know what kind of parasites or anything are on it. It's been raining. A lot of the wood is wet. I have nothing dry. So I don't want to take anything from outside for that. I would rather get that at a pet store or a local fish store so that I know it's dried and cured and there's nothing parasitic on it or any kind of bacteria. Um, but I will use hardscape and I'm going to show you how to go outside and get your own hardscape as in rocks. So let's go outside. Alright, so I'm outside just in my yard. Um, I live in the state of Pennsylvania um, in the Appalachian Mountains. So everything outside here is all rock with grass growing on it. Um, so I have tons of access to rock. Um, a lot of it is blue stone. So if you look here at my driveway, you can kind of see all these stones are like gray or blue. Um, that's very good um, stone to use um, for an aquarium because it's not going to leach a lot of, um, uh, you're not going to get any metals out of it and it's not going to dissolve like limestone would and uh, raise your pH and increase your hardness and KH and stuff like that. Um, so it's good. I've used it in many of my tanks, never had any problems. Um, your experience may vary. Can't guarantee it. They're rocks from outside. Um, so I'm going to look around here. I've got a whole bunch of rocks over here. Excuse the yard. It's been raining for like three years now. And, <laughs> oh, here's the pond. Um, so I haven't gotten a chance to cut it in like two, three weeks. Um, well, come over here and take a look at these guys. Can you let me touch one? Close. All right. So... Let's take a walk around, see if we can find some rocks. I'm looking for something like about this size, you know, something a little smaller than my hand. Um, I'll take a walk around, see what we can find. I know I got a stone wall down, down there in the yard. So uh, let me see what I can find. All right, so now I'm in my kitchen. I found some rocks. Uh, I got some little ones here and I got a big one here. I think that's good enough for a 20 gallon tank that I can work with. Um, you can see my other 55 gallon back there. But um, what you're going to do is you're going to heat up water um, on the stove in a pot. So this pot is kind of like a scrap pot. It's peeling and stuff on it. So 
I'll use it for these rocks. Um, but you don't want to put the rocks in here while the water is boiling like that. Because um, if they have air pockets in them, it's rare, but it happens, they could explode. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the water to a boil and then turn it off so that the boiling stops. I'm going to give it a second and let it cool down just a little bit so that it's not rolling as a boil anymore. Which, yeah, alright. And then you just grab your rock like this and gently set it down into the water. Careful you not to burn yourself. And you're just going to let the rock soak like that. Um, let it soak for a couple minutes, pull the rock out, flip it over, put it back in so that the whole rock gets um, soaked in the hot water bath and that will sterilize it so that you're not going to get anything in your tank that you don't want in there. Um, I've already done these little ones. They are, they are still hot. Um, so we're just going to let this one go and then we'll go back to the tank. Okay guys, we're back at the tank. I have my rocks all washed up and I have my plants ready to be planted. Um, I did notice that my jungle valve was starting to get shaded out in the 125, so I am going to have to trim some of these plants um, because they were dying back ever so slightly because of how densely the jungle valve was planted. The anachronist is perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the hardscape, get that set in there into a spot where I think it looks good, and then I might remove it to plant the plants and then replace it um, just so I get an idea of what kind of room I'm working with and then uh, we'll put two plants in there I'm only gonna run two I'm not gonna run the third plant right now um, I decided I'm just gonna get more plants and put a new plant in here rather than risking um, uprooting and replacing plants um, that have already been established and rooted where these plants can take to that uh, a little bit easier so basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take my large rock that I found and I cleaned off and I'm going to place it in the tank. Now generally based off of what I have read you want to use a two-thirds rule on basic aquascaping, so you want the centerpiece of the aquascape to be about two-thirds of the way over in the tank. So let me just find a good orientation that I think this rock will look good in. Now the light is a little deceiving, it's casting a shadow off the front of the rock because I have the light pushed back on the tank, but I think that orientation right there looks pretty good. Yep, so I'm just going to leave that there. Now I do have a couple smaller rocks that we can place in here. to kind of hide the base of this rock. I'm just trying to find orientations that I think might look appealing.
Okay. I think I can plant around that, so I'm not going to remove any of the rocks. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the jungle valve in the back left-hand corner, and the anacharis I'm going to plant off to the right-hand side. Um, so we'll start off with the anacharis because it's already in the tank, and it's very easy to plant. You just take your plant trimming, and you just gently press it down into the substrate like so, and then bury the bottom of the stem. Now, you can see the plants are have a little bit of a curve to them. That's because they were so cramped in the other tank. So we'll plant this stem right next to that one. And this one next to that one. Put this one kind of in front of this rock just a little bit. Okay. Now that'll grow out. It will, um, they'll grow up to the top of the tank. I'll trim them about halfway, replant them, and then they'll grow again. And I will just propagate out this tank using those four stems of an acris. And then I'll get a big lush background back there of anacharis. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my Vallison area. You can see how some of these plants are a little, a little rough looking up here on the tops. Um, so I'm going to come back into this tank afterwards and trim out the bed um, once I give it some fresh root tabs. And uh, it will regrow and look healthy. You can see how rough that plant looks right there. But once this plant gets some more nutrients, it will heal. And we'll start looking good again. Take this plant here. This is a nice long one. Now I'm just doing the same thing. I'm burying the root system into the substrate there. And then you want to gently pull upwards after you get it set where you want it so that the crown of the plant, which would be the white part right before the roots, is just barely sticking out of the substrate. The crown, if you look at this plant right here, you can see the green and then it gets a little white right here. That is the crown. You want that part of the plant sticking out of the substrate. Put this guy right here. You can see that one going a little deep, so we're just going to pull up on it just a little bit. There we go. Just enough to get that crown out of the water, or out of the substrate, not the water. I'm going to leave the plant in the water, definitely. And we got a nice short little valve scenario right here. Plant this guy right here. Grab a little extra substrate from the front here. Okay. 
and I got three tiny little Valisneria plants that I am going to put one of them right here. One of them right here. If I can reach. This little guy, where do I want to put him? I'll put him right here. Uh oh, my daughter came out to see what I'm doing. I'm recording a video. Yeah, with my phone. The fish, yeah. She loves my fish tank, so she's out here all the time talking to me about the fish. I got this last little tiny plant right here. Oh, I'm gonna put him right Okay guys, so that's it for the plants. I'm going to go ahead and come in here and clean this tank up a little bit and uh, get the light resituated and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, I got everything put back together. Um, the scape is complete for now. Um, I'm not going to go back in and trim up the jungle valve like I said I was going to. I'm just going to let the leaves die back. The plant is going to absorb the nutrients out of the leaves and use that to regrow the leaves that it has right now until the flourish root tabs that I put in there are able to break down and start feeding those plants which isn't going to take long, it only takes about a day for them to start breaking down and get into the roots and the plants start feeding on them and growing and for the anacharis, the stem plants, they feed out of the water column I dosed a little bit of easy green and the anacharis that I have has been flourishing off of easy green so I'm going to go ahead now and show you the tank. Now, mind you, it has been cycling for a while. Um, the cycle is established. And uh, I added a couple of golden mountain minnows um, just to set the tank off a little bit here. So I'll go ahead and show you the, uh, the scape right now. So we got the jungle valley real tall coming up over the top, providing a little cover. Um, the mountain minnows are happy and swimming around in there and uh, I'm actually going to turn the light off so you can get a better idea of what we're looking at here that way we're not getting as much glare yeah that's better so but I think it came out fairly well I'm just gonna wait for the plants to grow out a little bit and propagate and then I'll trim them up, replant them and really fill this tank in and uh, really get it going and establish and add some more mountain minnows but um, for right now guys uh, that's all for this video like the video if you liked it um, share it to your friends, leave a comment let me know how I did um, it's a very basic scape um, nothing super hard, pretty much anybody could do this and, uh, you know, if you want to keep seeing content like this, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. One quick thing I want to show you. Um, I did mention that I put stuff in the 55-gallon tank over here that was cycling. I want to show you guys real quick. So this is what we got here. Get down here. We got a nice big bunch of anacharis coming up over here. And real tall jungle valve. This jungle valve here is about three and a half to four feet long. Um root tabs there, easy green there, 
get this growing and this is going to be my 55 gallon guppy tank so uh, just thought I'd give you guys a quick sneak peek on that um, but that's it until next time I'll see you in the next video